morning everyone welcome to day three of vlogmas it's going so quick already i can't believe we're already on day three we uh, are up and we've left the hotel room and i feel really rough i don't know if i'm just coming down with something or if it's like a cold or i don't know what but i just woke up and felt horrendous my eyes feel like really small like they're just trying to close my voice has also gone a bit husky i don't know what's going on but like internally i just feel a bit shivery and weak and like getting out of breath really easy and stuff so yeah this morning the weather's like really drizzly and horrible we was gonna get bikes and bike up to hove but i'm just not really feeling able to do that at the moment um so instead we've come back to the car we're gonna drive up to Hove, it's like, like 10 minutes up the road, and try and park somewhere so we can go somewhere for breakfast. I really would like to go to Gail's Bakery, so hopefully we can get a space near there. And then after that, I'm not sure what the plan is. It's really dependent on how I'm feeling. We may just go home, we may stop off somewhere on the way home for a few hours, I don't know. Playing today by ear. <laughs> having a little mooch around home and we pick the dogs up some treats lots of treats for the pets when we get home this is the first time i've ever seen a hair salon properly advertised cruelty free ethical hair care so we're in the car on the way home now um it's quite early in the afternoon i told my mum that we'd be back in the evening tonight so we're gonna be early the weather was a bit rubbish in brighton wasn't it today yeah, it's not too right. a bit drizzly and cold and damp um but we had a nice breakfast brunch thing at gail's bakery we had a really nice avocado on toast and a nice hot drink in there and we had a little mooch around hove and yeah then we decided that we'd head home so we're just in we're nearly back now probably another half an hour or so and we'll be reunited with the doggies they're gonna go crazy but i'm glad we stopped at a pet shop and picked up some treats for them um otherwise i would have felt a bit bad although treats with our dogs normally cause arguments <laughs> they have really bad fights over them they don't they're not just like normal dogs they don't just sit there and eat the treats they like play mind games with them they take them and then sit with them and then just like try and wind each other up with them it's difficult to explain but they don't eat them they just sit there with them and then Suki our Pomeranian tries to like steal them off the other dogs and yeah it just they all just sit there growling so we'll probably have that to look forward to later <laughs> it'll be good to see them though it's only been like two days apart and we already like really miss them I just had a little flashback to last vlogmas and I just remembered that there is the Christmas radio station so I'm gonna look for that right now and put it on. Park Christmas.
I have a package and I think it might be my cruelty free secret Santa. Let's see. Okay, I thought it was a vegan kind box, but it definitely looks like my secret Santa. How exciting! I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna try and save this until Christmas Eve, I think. Okay, so I've also just got a package from um, a PR company, so I thought I'd do some unboxing on camera. Look at all these elf goodies. I feel so lucky and spoiled. A blending brush, I haven't got that one actually. That looks really nice. If you didn't already know, Elf are completely vegan and cruelty free and they're available online or at Superdrug. Ooh, shimmer highlighting powder. God, there's so many things. Blush duos. Oh my God, Andy is making so much noise right now. Matte blush duos. What's this one? Warm bronzer. I think I've had this one before actually, it's really nice. You can never have too many bronzers. Contour palette. I think I might already have this. Maybe I'll do a little giveaway on one if um, I have already got this. I'll have a look. Um, a foundation palette. I haven't got that. Interesting. Oh, I've got more brushes as well. What's this one? A small angled brush. That's really useful for eyebrows. Oh, it's like see through. Precision smudge black. Oh. Precision smudge brush, that's handy. I like using these for like eyeliner under my my lower lid. Precision micro contouring brush. Ooh, these brushes look really nice. I don't know if you can see properly, but they're like clear. And then I've also got some face products in here. Moisturizing sleeping mask, that sounds amazing. A hydrating serum, precision sponges. Oh, I've never used the elf sponges actually. And some, what's this? Illuminating eye cream. Wow, I feel thoroughly spoilt by that. Thank you to Elf's PR. I'm looking forward to trying these out. I've also been sent some goodies from Tropic. It's so nice coming back from like a little mini breakaway um, to some goodies. So let's see what's in here. Oh, whipped body velvet. Okay, this is what it looks like and I've just had a sniff and it smells incredible. So nice. So I've also been sent some of this So Sleepy Pillow Mist, which is right up my street. Made naturally with lavender, eucalyptus and frankincense essential oils. And I think you just basically spray this on your pillow and it helps you have a good night's sleep. Tropic are another um, completely vegan, cruelty-free brand of skincare and makeup, so well worth checking out if you haven't done already. Um, I feel so spoiled with all this. Look at all these goodies. Suki. Suki. You're a ball of fluff, aren't you? I love these crinkly bits. So because I've been away for a couple of days, I've also got a couple of days of my advent calendar to open. So where are you, number two? Here we go. Ooh, what is it? That is a really substantial, nice pen. That's a Kiki K gold pen. I love that. Number three. Number three is a big one. Oh, I think this has fallen out. Oh no, I think I might have things from other days here. I think that's come out of there for when inspiration stickers. Let's open this up. I thought that said for when inspiration stickers, but it actually says for when inspiration strikes, and it is a little mini notebook. And he's just bashed out a roast very quickly. I've never felt more attractive. Sunday night face mask is on. More face masks on as well. <laughs> I don't feel like I've vlogged much at all today and it's basically been because nothing's happened yeah <laughs> it's been one of those days we was in the car for a couple of hours and then we got home and we just had like a really chilled Sunday mainly spent on the sofa in front of the tv and he made a nice roast dinner and yeah we've just been having lots of snuggle time with the pets I feel like I'm covered in pets right now I'll show you I've got Winnie Suki's down there getting comfortable. Zen's trying to get in. Zen's trying to get in the bed. Zen. Oh, he just wants to get in. 
Go on, Matt. He'll get in Andy's side, but then he'll make his way over to me. Look, watch him, Matt. He does this like... <laughs> he does this when he, when he wants to come out as well. Oh. Like, God knows what time in the morning, just see the bed going up. That's Zen in. This side I've got... <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's not happening. Bappy. This is where Bappy sleeps, basically. He down anyone coming near him. Down my left hand side. Suki and Winnie are basically like arch enemies. But Winnie, bless her, she's so resilient. She always makes sure that she gets on the bed. No matter how horrible Suki's trying to be to her. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much Sunday over. We're just going to bed now. Um, we're probably just going to watch some YouTube videos. And maybe I'll edit this video. Maybe I'll leave it till the morning. Um, we'll see how Oh, I just got bit. <laughs> Winnie just bit me on the arm. <laughs> that was like a love bite. It's not really soft, but just like... <laughs> She's just letting you know that... I just wonder what it was. She done that to me the other day and it really quite hurt. Yeah, you gonna get it. She wants to get in my nook. But... She's not happy with you being on camera. She's so forceful, this cat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a proper attack to my hand then. She, might, she looks like a really nasty cat now. I know. She's not, though. She's not a nasty cat. She's just really unpredictable. And she can just really go in for little bites. But they're more like out of love, I think, than anger. <sighs> anyway, um... Yeah, so tomorrow is Monday and I think the plan is to take the dogs out for a long walk because they haven't been for a walk the last couple of days because the weather's been so bad here. And then I think me and my mum are going to go to the garden centre because she wants to get a Christmas tree so that she can take home with her. Um, so we'll probably make a little trip up to Perry Woods, my favourite garden centre. And it's so festive there, the Christmas shop is insane. Um... <laughs> Chihuahua noises. Are you making enough noise? You're so forceful, Bappy. <laughs> oh my god, you couldn't get any closer to my face. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I'm not sure what else is planned tomorrow. Um, I'll probably try and get some work done as well at some point. Oh, lovely shot coming of Buffy's over bum. Here. It's coming over here. We've got a fresh bedding on tonight as well, but I feel like the pets have really missed us, so we need to just give in to them. Look at him. Yeah, so that's it from today. Sorry, it's not been a very exciting one today, um, but there'll be more fun to come tomorrow. Nighty night. Bye.